Hello everybody, welcome to another Binance tutorial where I'm going to show you how to withdraw money from Binance to your bank account when your currency is not listed on the platform. To withdraw money in general, the first thing you do is check for your currency. If I search for the Nigerian Naira for example, you can see that it is listed on the platform which means that I can sell my cryptocurrency to it and then withdraw that. I made a detailed video on how to withdraw for currencies that are listed. And I'll leave that link in the description box below for anyone who might be interested in that. But what I want to show you in this video is how to withdraw for those currencies that are not listed. For example, a search for Canadian dollars, you can see that nothing shows up, which means that it's not listed. The same thing for New Zealand dollars and other currencies that are not listed. For those of you who don't have your currency listed, there are two major steps that you need to follow to withdraw your money. The first step is to find a cryptocurrency exchange in your country and create an account with them. How do you find this exchange? Go on Google and search for cryptocurrency exchange in, then enter the name of your country. For example, if I'm looking for cryptocurrency exchanges in Canada, I will go on Google and type cryptocurrency exchange in Canada. Once you have found an exchange that you like, create an account and complete your verification steps. Then log into that platform and look at the list of cryptocurrencies that they support. For this example, I'm using Bitbuy, which is in Canada, and these are the cryptocurrencies that they support. Every exchange will most likely support the major coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum, but just make sure that you know the coins that are supported. For me personally, I like to move my money in Ethereum because the price fluctuation is not as much as that of Bitcoin, but you can use Bitcoin or any other coin that the two exchanges that you are transferring between can support. So once you've decided which coin you want to move your money in, get the wallet address from the exchange that you are transferring to. In my example, I'm transferring from Binance to Bitbuy, so I'm going to get my Ethereum wallet address on Bitbuy. When I log into Bitbuy, I will go under Ethereum and click Deposit. It will bring up the wallet address and I'm going to copy it. It's better to use the copy to clipboard option so you don't make any mistake in the wallet address. But you can also type it out yourself if you would prefer to do that. Just make sure that you are very careful and that you copy the entire address. Once you have copied the wallet address, go to Binance and click on withdraw. Make sure that crypto is selected and type the coin that you want to transfer in. Now if your crypto is not already in that coin you want to transfer in, make sure you sell your crypto to that coin first and then you do the transfer. For me, I'm going to type ETH because I want to transfer in Ethereum. Then click enter. Paste the wallet address that you have already copied, which is the wallet address of the exchange you are transferring to. Select the transfer network that you want to use. For Ethereum, choose the Ethereum network. If you are doing this on the web version of Binance, you are going to see them write the network out as Ethereum. But on the mobile version, they write it out as ERC20. It's the same thing. Choose that network. If you don't know the network to use for the particular coin that you want to transfer, Google it before you do. If you select the wrong network, sometimes Binance will tell you that it's wrong. Other times, they will tell you that you should just make sure that your network supports your withdrawal. So you cannot always bank on them to tell you if you are wrong or right. You need to make sure you know the network before you start your transfer. Once you have selected the right network, enter the amount of Ethereum that you want to transfer. For me, I'm transferring all the Ethereum that I have at this moment. So I'm going to click max. When I click max, it will automatically put in all the Ethereum that I have. It will tell you what the transfer fee is and how much Ethereum you are going to have left after they deduct the transfer fee. Click on submit. You will be asked to complete your two-factor authentication. And once you have entered all the codes, it will show you a message saying that your withdrawal request has been submitted. In my experience, it takes about 30 minutes to an hour before you see the Ethereum in your other wallet. But Binance says that it can take up to 24 hours. It just has never taken that long for me. Once the cryptocurrency shows up in your destination exchange, you can sell it to your local currency and then withdraw it to your bank account, following the withdrawal steps for that particular exchange. If you are in Canada, I'm going to be uploading a detailed step-by-step -step video soon on how to withdraw Canadian dollars to your bank account. I'll show you all the steps, so look out for that one. That's everything I wanted to show you guys in this video. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you found it useful and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this one. God bless your hustle.